We first met Vance a few weeks ago as one of the icons being honored in a mural in Hollis, Queens. Now his friends say he needs our help and he doesn't know we're here to fight for him. Surprise, surprise, surprise. 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 Nice seeing you. Give Chuck his truck back. Pix11 News found Greg Vance on the football field Wednesday. Not surprising since he spent the past five decades coaching young people here. Are you overwhelmed? I'm very overwhelmed, very overwhelmed. Vance was surrounded by his sisters and family friends who reached out to Pix11 News to help this humble hero. Somebody had stole all of my identity. Vance says his identity was stolen. Someone used his driver's license to buy three cars. Those cars, Vance says, have accumulated dozens of parking tickets totaling almost $3,000. Three different cars. Three different cars. That aren't his. That are not his. Vance filed an official police report, but it was too late. His truck was impounded. Someone can just walk in and walk away with your identity, and basically your hands are tied. Vance says he needs his car to get to practice and continue coaching in his community. That's Chucky. What, is it, what do kids think when they hear that? Oh, I'm in trouble. Also inside his truck that was impounded, most of his coaching equipment. Everybody knows him and everybody loves him and everybody wants to help him get his vehicle back. The kids know that Chucky really loves them. Vance's friends set up a GoFundMe on Facebook to raise the money needed to get his car. It's called Get Chuck His Truck Back. He's OG, that's the term. He's there for their graduation, their proms, their problems. We reached out to the city's Department of Finance Wednesday and the mayor's office. They say they're looking into it. His family and friends hope the confusion can be cleared up for this community champion. Oh, Jesus, please, just help us with this situation. 